So it's the beginning of September and that can only mean one thing. It's time for me to show my income report. So this is the total income I have across my entire business, which will be my website portfolio income, my affiliate marketing income, and also the P&L. So I'll show you the expenditure, what I spend to actually get that income coming in. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. So I'm back in the UK, well, and I've never actually left the UK. I have just been on my holidays and we did go somewhere reasonably um, local within the UK and we had a break for a few weeks. Now, I'd love to say I came back refreshed and revitalized, but it was a bit of a disaster, but more to come on that in another video. But for now, it's more important that I get to show you my income reports because I know a lot of you really do like to see this. It gives you an idea of the progress of a website, how long it might take you to rank a website and get some income coming from it. Or if you're an affiliate marketer, it might give you an insight into how long it's gonna take you to build an audience or an income online, but not maybe necessarily a website. So I cover all things in my income report. So I do actually show you the P&L that gets submitted to my accountant. So what you see here is a true, honest reflection of my business and my income. I don't know many YouTubers do it as honestly and as openly as me, but you guys seem to like it and I'm quite happy to show you. So if we head over to the computer in just a second, I'll show you all about it. But before we do, as always in my income reports, there will be a special discount at the end of the video. So please stay tuned right until the end of the video and I'll give you a discount. This month we have two on offer. One is to Popcorn Theme, my own personal WordPress theme that is designed perfectly for bloggers with speed and simplicity in mind. And I'm in partnership with a couple of people on this project and we've really, really created something that I think is pretty special. So there will be a discount for Popcorn Theme at the end, and the second discount is gonna be for ODYS. Now, who the heck are ODYS? Well, ODYS are a company that specialises in premium aged domains, and that's the basis of my new case study, which I'm starting soon. I'm gonna purchase an aged domain from ODSY, and we're gonna see if we can build a website quicker. So using a premium aged domain, does it rank quicker? Will I get an income coming in faster? We'll see, it's gonna be an interesting case study. So again, both discounts will be at the end of the video. But for now, let's head over to the computer and let's break down my P&L for August. Okay, so here's the income report from August. Now this is quite an important income report for me because it's the first income report that I've done. Being a full-time affiliate marketer, quitting my job and doing this full-time, where I've managed to actually take a couple of weeks off, have a holiday, switch off from everything and see if my income, basically if it stayed the same or did it grow or you know, is this passive income lifestyle that everybody promotes, is it real? What will actually happen to my income? So I was nervous to say the least about having a couple of weeks off, but I was confident that everything would be okay. So let's have a look at the numbers and see if it was. Okay, so you can see the top line here, the top two lines actually, one is the income from my website, one is from affiliate marketing. So the total income for August 2021 was $9,907.70. Now that was down $2,375 on the previous month, basically from the income from my website. So in July, I still had my high ticket item website, which was bringing in a really good revenue and keyword care service was in full swing and I was doing as many orders as I possibly could before I went on holiday. Now obviously I took some time off and that service had to close through August. Hence the reason it's down in total my income by $2,375. So you can see the total expense there, $4,399 in expense, which is mainly down, it's red. I've spent more than I did the previous month even though I am trying to get my overheads down due to, I bought a camera. Basically, I spent nearly $1,000 on a camera uh, to increase and improve my YouTube um, video content. So if I hadn't have spent that, I would have actually stuck to my schedule of trying to bring my expenses down. So that gave me a before tax profit of $5,508.29. 
pretty good considering I only worked two weeks in August. So that's not bad at all. So let's break it down individually for you. But before we do that, I just want to let you know, as always in these videos, I do have a special offer. There will be a discount code for popcorn theme at the end of this video, and it is a really good discount. It's the biggest discount I've given for this theme. So please stay tuned to the end of the video. Okay, so let's have a look. Site number one is my pet website. So this is hutchandcage.com. All you guys on my channel know this website. So traffic, we did just short of 61,000 page views in August, which is very, very slightly up. It's two years and four months old. It's got 469 articles. And this website has had some great ups and it's had a few downs. It's been hit a couple of times with algorithm updates. Don't know why, it's all original content. It's all pretty good. Majority is informational content, but something's been going on with this site. It's been up and down. However, it does bring a steady income stream in. Don't let the up and down traffic fool you. This is, like they say, a bit of a cash cow. It literally just, at the end of every month, it's always substantial income that comes from the site. So I'm, I'm still really happy with it. I did try experimenting with web stories, and as you can see, they pretty much a fail. I got three views from Google web stories. So that was a bit of a failure. So what did I do? I drafted most of the web stories. I didn't want the web stories to clash with my Google rankings. I was a little bit worried there might be a cross match there. There was maybe one dragging the other down. So I, I put all the Google web stories into draft mode to see if it would increase the traffic. Pretty much nothing happened. It's, it's still early days yet, but not a lot of difference. So I am still posting on Pinterest. It got 2,836 views from Pinterest. However, again, I do not know what is happening with Pinterest. Everybody I talk to is struggling with Pinterest. It seems to be they're changing their algorithm. I don't know what it is. Even though I paid for a paid Pinterest campaign, I'm still 858 views down on the previous month where I didn't pay for any advertising. So I do not know what is going on with Pinterest, but I'm certainly kind of just pushing it to one side. I'm going to do little bits on it but I don't know what's going on with it. It doesn't seem to be worth the investment at the minute. So I'm just going to back off and see what happens. My affiliate program that I lost, if you remember last month, I have a pet product that I promote and I got knocked down in the rankings and it dramatically decreased my earnings. You can see in July, you'll see there's a figure there, $12.33. I lost, I went from four or $500 a month down to $12. Thankfully, it's come back. I've gone back up in the rankings and in August I made $351 and we're in the beginning of September now and I've already had a couple of sales so it looks like it's back on track and thank goodness because I put a lot of time and effort into that affiliate program. It's not Amazon, it's an independent affiliate program so I'm happy that it's now back where it was before. So what's my plans? Well, I am going to keep updating the content. At the moment, remember I said I'm not going to do any new content and that is still true. I'm going to keep true to my word on that. I'm not going to add any content at the moment. I'm just going to keep updating all content. If I can get the traffic back up to 80, 90,000 page views, something like that, then I might start either putting more content on it or I might sell it. The other option as well is to buy one or two little pet websites and redirect the traffic to the main homepage or to content throughout the website. That is something I'm considering doing. If we have a look at this screen here, just a snapshot, you can see on the left-hand side, Google Search Console, you can see the huge spike in traffic, you know, that was last year, it was doing great, and then it, you can see it got hit with the algorithm update, and then it picked up again, and then it got hit again, and now we seem to be picking up again. So it's just, you know, it's like a roller coaster ride at the moment. If you look at the top right-hand side, Page Experience, you can see, you know, Google is liking my website. It's saying 99% of my URLs are all good. It's offering a great page experience. So there is really no issues with the website. I just don't know why it's took such a took such a hit over the last year. And if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you see my SERP robot. 377 keywords I'm being I'm tracking. There are more articles, but I'm only tracking 377. 366 of those are in the top 100. So there's no indexing problems whatsoever. You can see the problem is the bulk of my content is sat on in the top 10 or in the top 30. It's not in the top three. So I need to get a lot of that content into the top 10 at least 
There's another 100 possible articles that could be in that top 10 or into the top three. If I can get the top three up to 200, 250 in the top three, then we'll see significant traffic increase. Okay, and this is keyword care. This is my service. And you can see here, I only made in August $789 compared to July $3,158. So you can see that it is a service-based website. If I'm not here running the business, it basically stops. I've not got a full team in place yet that can run the business for me while I'm away because all the keyword hit lists that I do are basically me doing them with the help of an assistant or two, but uh, it's not in the position where I can allow them to do somebody's order on their own and fulfill the order while I'm away. That's just not gonna happen at the moment. So you can see if you want to have a look at some of the statistics, you can see the traffic uh, is up. It's a bit of a typo there. It actually got 1,520 visitors, but it's still 4% up. And you can see that I switched off the orders from around the 10th of August. So I made $789 in 10 days before I went on holiday. Uh, I'm going to revamp the site as soon as I can. I am definitely on my list to do. Uh, I want to make the website fresher, cleaner, easier to order and streamline the process. But that's still work in progress. I have been a little burnt out with this service. I must admit, it takes a lot of time to do a keyword hit list. So around $89 for 25 individual keywords that I think you have a chance of ranking for, but there's a lot of time and effort that goes into producing that list. So for $89, often it can take me five, six, even seven hours sometimes to do that list. So it's pretty much a day's work for $89. So it did burn me out a little bit, but I am kind of refreshed now and I'm ready to get back at these. So I am gonna switch the orders back on. They should be on probably as this video has gone out. If you head over to keywordcare.com, you can still order them. They are back available to order. If we go on to website number three, this is my mega website. So again, it's a website that you may know, traffic was stagnant for a very long time. And then we saw a bit of an increase. But unfortunately, the traffic seems to have fallen away again. So the website is 12 months old, but the first article was only published eight months ago. So pretty much the content is around eight months old and some of it is only three or four months old. So uh, I do understand that it might still be in the Google sandbox. The traffic is around 1500 page views in August, which is terrible. I did expect it to be at around probably seven or 8,000 by now, but it's nowhere near. Ezoic, I added Ezoic to the website and it is bringing in a little income. You can see we went from July, just added it 94 cents, to August, $5.36. So it is growing and I expect September to be, you know, $30, $40, something like that. So it is starting to bring a little bit of income in. So I reached out to a friend of mine, Sean Mars, and I asked him to review the website. If you're not seeing the video, I will try and leave a link uh, in the description or in this video and you can go check that video out. It gave me some great suggestions and I'm implementing them across the website. I hope once I implement these changes that it will all start to rank and we'll see the traffic come flooding in, fingers crossed. And also uh, a friend of mine, um, Sabina from mumvanup.com said to me that she'd had some indexing issues and all she did was she shortened the URL, the slug, so the end part of the URL. She shortened that down she manually indexed it with Google Search Console and Google picked them up because that's the problem with this. I have hundreds of articles that are not in the SERP index. They're nowhere to be found. Google can't find them, it can't see them or it doesn't want to find them. So I'm gonna try um, changing some of these slugs. I'm gonna reduce the uh, URLs down a bit, manually index it and we'll see if that happens. Not sure if it'll do anything, but again, who knows? But as far as content goes, I have started adding some more content. So you can see there, $352 was spent on expenses. Pretty much that was content. And I've started to bite the bullet, even though all the signs are bad. I just think if I keep putting some content on there, it will come good. However, I'm not going to sink an endless amount of money into it. So I will go cautious with that, but I am adding content. And you can see here, this is some screenshots. This is Google Search Console. You can see there is a bit of life. You can see that nice, steady hockey growth stick, but it's tiny. I mean, we're talking, you know, 30, 40 visitors a day. It's not enough. We should be in the hundreds now. And you can see on the top right-hand side, pages excluded. 
this is the issue. I have nearly 400 pages that Google hasn't indexed and doesn't seem to want to index them. And the bottom right hand corner is my SERP robot. You can see there are some green numbers on there. We have got a few in the top three, but for very low search volume keywords. And you can see on the right hand side, 327 keywords have been tracked, but only 86 are in the top 100. So there is still a major problem, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Follow me, keep following the story. Hopefully this will come good soon. So site four is carlbromer.com. So this is where the affiliate income comes from. So this is separate to all my websites. So I've really been focusing on written content. I've been going after a lot of articles, things like 16 best affiliate programs for baby products. And I've been trying to get a lot of information and blog posts on carlbromer.com. Even though it's primarily there to promote my brand and my YouTube channel, I am trying to rank organically as well. So I've added around 20 articles in the month of August. Massive push on YouTube. I have um, broken all my records on YouTube. Subscriber counts over 5,000. My income is at the highest it's been, but it's been a lot of work. So what I've done is I've hired a video editor, somebody who I can uh, will help me edit my videos, which will free time up for me to work on new projects. And talking of new projects, I've still got to announce my big project, which I'm hoping to do, ooh, fingers crossed on the live stream on Saturday, the 11th of September. I'm hoping I can announce it on there. You'd be really interested in it. It's taken a lot of time and money and it's nothing to do with websites, but it is to do with our industry. So I'm, I'm hoping you're gonna like it. I'm gonna continue to write blog posts. I'm gonna do at least five blog posts per week on calbrobin.com and I'm gonna start also reaching out for backlinks. See if I can create some content to share and get some backlinks. So also within the brand of Kyle Robin, Popcorn Theme, we are updating Popcorn Theme. There's a new update out in around three or four days, hopefully by the time this video comes out, and it's gonna have lots of cool features and things you guys have been asking for. So stay tuned for the Popcorn Theme update. And site five is my fishing site. So quick stats on this, traffic is down a little bit, 6% down, but it's still doing nearly 4,500 page views a month, which is okay. It's got 10 new articles in August and I have planned another 10 for September. So it's up at 126 posts now. I have two writers working on the site pretty much full time for the next couple of months and they're revamping old content and they're adding 10 new articles as well each month. I've added it to Ezoic and it's doing great. You can see Ezoic in July made $64 and in August it's at $88 and I'm hoping September will be over $100. So that's doing really well. The Amazon income was $68, so we had a total income of $157 on this site. Now the outgoings was $396. Uh, as per usual, I have spent more than I've earned, but it's only because I'm investing heavily in the content. So currently the site owes me $2,312. That's how much I'm out of pocket. But if I stop adding content on this, I would easily get my money back. But I'm also building a website here that is sellable. It's probably worth, 10 or $15,000 right now. So it's really good that I'm investing in the future. And if you wanna see a snapshot of it here, here's Google Search Console. You can see that nice steady trend. And if you look at the bottom, we track in 126 keywords, only 99 are in the top 100, but it's not too bad, not too worried about that. But the good news is a lot of jumping into position three and certainly the top 10 is starting to increase a little bit now. So we are seeing the average position come down, although on this screenshot it doesn't show that, but it has, been coming down. When I first started, average position was about 115. So I've, you know, certainly half that down. So we're doing really good. I'm really happy with this site. And site number six is Exotic Pet Place, a pet website that I run in partnership with a friend of mine. I revealed it on my YouTube channel. So you can go check the website out. It's got 72 articles on it at the minute. We published six in August. We added popcorn theme to the website. And the first article was published around 12 months ago. So it's around a year old. It's getting around 2,800 page views in August. However, I think that was a lot of people from YouTube jumping over and checking it out. Remember, this is a site that I've had a lot of trouble with indexing with. It literally, out of 72 articles, I think there's about 15 or 20 that are indexed. So I've had some major problems with this site. However, organic traffic is up 18% up and it's since adding the theme. So it seems to be a real coincidence. Every time I add popcorn theme to a site, the organic traffic does go up. 
Now, whether that is because it's a faster theme, it's loading quicker, it's giving a better page experience, less bounce rate, more click through, I don't really know. It just seems to be a coincidence. The last three sites I've added popcorn theme to that organic traffic has improved and my web core vitals has improved. So, you know, I'm hoping we've created a real good product. You guys seem to be giving us great feedback on it. So I think it's really good. Now, the plans for this site are possibly to buy one or two smaller uh, exotic pet websites and direct the websites, redirect 301 them over to this website. And will that kick it into life? Will that boost and create some authority around this website? I don't know. It's not something I've tried before, but it is something we're considering. So you can see there, no income and pretty much no outgoings. We haven't really done anything. There are obviously some hosting costs in there, which I forgot to add up, but it's probably around $15. So this is website number seven. Again, this is a joint venture with a good friend of mine who lives very close to me. He's an affiliate marketer, has a nice portfolio of websites. And we went into partnership with this website. And so far, you can see that I've spent $747 in total. So in August, I spent $350 each. So it is 50-50 on this site. And it's not a site we've revealed yet. But again, we're using Popcorn theme. It's a brand new fresh domain. It's a very interesting niche. It's not something I've done before and it's pretty much informational content. So very soon we will get it on Ezoic and we should start to see some ad revenue coming in. It's very early days yet. Like I say, we've only probably had it about four months and I've not even added Google Analytics onto it yet. We're just getting content on. So I will bring you more information on this website when I have something interesting basically to show you. Now, site number eight, again, is another venture with a gentleman that I already have a website with. We bought the site together from a viewer. It is another pet niche website, but it is about one particular pet, and it's not a very popular pet. So that's why I bought it. It's a little bit different. It's a bit interesting. It's got 101 posts on it. It's one year and nine months old. The traffic last in the last 30 days, like I said, we've only just added Google Analytics to it. It got near enough 900 page views in 30 days. And in the past seven days, it does seem to be going up. Again, I've added popcorn theme to this website and no idea why, but within days of adding popcorn theme, the traffic was 15, 20% up. So again, make that what you will. I'm not trying to sell you the popcorn theme. It just seems to be happening. So I don't know why. Again, I will bring you the PL on this as soon as I start adding it to my PL. So we've only just bought it and it will hit September's PL. So this is website number nine. It's not actually launched yet, but I wanted to pre-warn you. This is my aged domain. So it's my premium aged domain case study. I will be purchasing it from ODYS, if you don't know who they are. They're a company that specializes in buying aged premium domains. So it stands for Our Domain, Your SEO. And they're a company that is recognized in the industry. A lot of the big bloggers buy their aged domains from these guys. And I'm going to test them out. I'm going to see what it's like. I've never built a website with a premium age domain. Will it rank quicker? Will I get instant traffic? I don't know, but we're going to find out. It's going to be a full step-by-step -step case study, including keyword research, content, everything. It's going to be a big investment for me, time and money. And I'm going to really show you step-by-step -step the full process to it. Now, if you want to check ODYS out before I get started on my case study, you can go check them out right now. There is an affiliate link in the description. I do make a commission if you use that, but today you can get 30% off. It's for a very limited time only. Plus, if you buy a domain within that time period, you get $100 towards your first aged domain. So it's really worth checking them out. They have aged domains for all price budgets, starting at a few hundred dollars, going up to several thousand dollars. It really depends how much you want to spend, but you can start with a very limited budget as well and get something that's aged. It's got backlinks, it's got some authority and you're off to the races. As soon as you get it, you can add content and off you go. So go check them out. So that's it. Let's have a look at the full PL breakdown. So the total income, $9,907, $4,399 dollars expenses, which gives a grand total of $5,508 profit before tax. So for the year, my total income so far is $92,301 and expenses $34,525. So I've made a pre-tax profit this year. So the taxman is going to take a big lump sum off me next year, and it's 57,776 so far. And we still got the best quarter. We still got Q4 
on its way. So it's looking good. So sales were down due to holidays and no keyword care service, but my affiliate income was up. Keyword care is now back in business. If you want to place an order, please go ahead and do so. My new case study will start very soon, and it's certainly going to be my focus solidly for the next two months. A few new websites that I've bought that I will add to next month's PL sheet. You'll see those. And we're going to do a live stream on Saturday, the 11th of September, to basically celebrate hitting 5,000 subscribers. So I hope you can join me on that. An Ezoic income focus for the next 12 months. I want to set a goal of getting $10,000 per month from ad revenue from Ezoic. So that's going to take a lot of websites. It's going to take two or three big websites, or it'll take a lot of small websites. But I want to try in 12 months to have a goal of seeing $10,000 in ad revenue. I don't care where it comes from, which website, how big that website is, or whether it's several websites. But that is a goal I've set myself. So as I mentioned, the discount for Popcorn Theme is 25% off. So just head over to Popcorn Theme and use the word corn, C-O-R-N, 25, and that will get you 25% off the purchase price. And the premium age domain, again, is 30% off, offer ends soon, and you get $100 credit towards your first domain. And there's a few examples there. I've blurred them out because these are sold domains, and you have to register with them, get permission to access their database, and when you do get that permission, then you can browse all the domains that's available. So you have to sign up. They don't accept everybody, but if you sign up, hopefully you'll be accepted and you can see some of these premium domains that's available. So there you go. As you can see, not only did I have two weeks off in August, but my income stayed relatively the same. It's obviously only my service that I closed down because I don't have an office or a team behind me that can run it. When I'm not here, keyword care stops. So. Uh, at the moment, it is a one-man team, and I'm trying to build processes and a team in place so that doesn't happen, so that even when I'm on holiday, if I get sick, the service can continue. But for now, I had to shut Keyword Care down for the two weeks while I was away, hence the drop of around $2,000 in total. So if I'd have had that income coming in, we'd have been up on the previous month without a shadow of a doubt. So still growth uh, across my entire business, Lots of projects on the go. I am really looking forward to the next few months. I think we're going to have some interesting results. So thank you for staying with me. Thank you for following the channel. And you've got me over 5,000 subscribers. And I hope you can join me on my live stream, which is on Saturday. So please feel free to join. Ask any questions you like. I'd love to see you. I'll keep the live stream going for a couple of hours and we'll get as many questions answered as we can. We're just going to hang out, have a bit of fun, maybe even have a drink cup of tea or maybe even a beer and we'll just celebrate getting over that 5,000 subscriber mark. So thank you very much. And if you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. Let's keep the channel growing. Let's see how many people we can help and hopefully create an online income for you. So thanks very much. I will see you in the next video.